Hi, my name is Lexi Jong and welcome to my channel. Today I have some exciting news. Shantakai's annual sale is starting soon. The sale is 30% off site-wide this year. And this sale happens once a year in honor of Sylvie Shantakai's birthday. And it is going to run from July 28th through the 31st. Right now, however, you are able to pre-sale. I already put in my presale order with Angela Rogers. Angela Rogers is an executive with Shantakai. She works very closely with the family. And if you have any questions about products, she is the one to go to. She knows everything. And her information is down below in the description box. But if you would like to put in a pre-order, I would recommend going through her and you can either email her or DM her through Instagram. She's very responsive. And again, if you have questions on anything, she is definitely the person to ask. I am not ashamed to admit it, but I have frequently sent her photos of my face trying on different samples because I am in need of a new Future Skin. And if you're not familiar with the line, Future Skin is their gel foundation. And I've always used porcelain in the past, but I recently got all of these samples and I have the Aura, the Porcelain, and the Alabaster sample. And I have been sending her picture after picture, trying to decide whether I need to change up my color or mix some shades. So she is definitely very, very helpful. And she put up with all of my zillions of photos and questions that I have been asking her. So thank you again to Angela if she's watching. My original intention for this video was to show you some of my Shantikai favorites and things that I would recommend purchasing. However, as I started to go through everything, it ended up getting to be too long of a list. So this video has sort of morphed into a collection video and then I will have my top favorites at the end. There are timestamps down below, so feel free to use those. Let's start off with base products. One of my favorites is the Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer. And I use shade Alabaster, which is the lightest shade. And it has SPF 15, but it is a really nice lightweight tinted moisturizer. It's a little bit thicker than like a, a facial lotion, but it, it gives you a little bit of coverage and it feels really comfortable. It actually just feels like you have skincare on. It doesn't feel like a foundation. I wear this all the time. I wear it throughout the year, but primarily during the summer, I usually just keep my tube on my bathroom sink and put it on right after my skincare. As I mentioned, I have been going through some samples of the Future Skin, and I will show you the three shades that I have. The lightest one, and actually the newest addition to the line, I think this came out, was it a year and a half, two years ago maybe? But this is the shade Aura, and Future Skin is in, oil-free gel foundation and it actually feels lighter to me than the Just Skin. I feel like the coverage is actually a little higher with the Just Skin than the Future Skin, which is a little counterintuitive to me. So this is the shade Aura. This is their lightest, rosiest shade in the collection. Next up we have Porcelain and this is the shade that I have used for years. So this is not my first jar that I'm buying up. And you can see actually when I put this on my face, it smooths out to nothing. Like I cannot see it. And last up we have Alabaster. So this is an order of deepness. Aura, which is going to be your fairest with cool tones. Porcelain is fair with neutral undertones and Alabaster is fair light with neutral undertones, I believe as well, but it's a little bit peachier. So for me personally, I have been using porcelain for years, but I am ordering a jar of the alabaster and I'm gonna kind of mix them, which is what I have on my face right now. Concealers, I have the Chantecaille Le Camouflage Stilo in shade one, and this was a new purchase for me. And yesterday's video goes over this, so if you're interested in seeing it more, but here is the shade and you can see See that it's going to be a light neutral shade. There's a touch of peach to it, but it's definitely not going to be super peachy. And I think it blends in perfectly with my under eye area. It looks very natural and it really does help with the dark circles. 
Let's take a look at the two face powders that I have. This is the Eclat Dew, which is the powder that came out with the Holiday 2019 collection. And you can see that it is going to be a soft velvety powder. And I mean, this is like a cream to powder hybrid. And this is, it's just so creamy on the skin. It's pretty translucent. I do think deeper skin tones, you might end up getting it getting a like a little bit of a white cast if you put on a lot of the product but I think if you put on just like a normal amount then you should be okay. The most recent powder that they came out with is this Perfect Blur Finishing Powder and this one has more of a peachy tone to it. It's a baked formula so it's firmer in the pan and it really does give your skin a nice blurring effect. You can see though, this one definitely is gonna be peachier compared to the Eclat Dew, which really just blends in with my skin completely. The two of these powders have a different finish to me. The Perfect Blur really gives you a nice blurred look. For me personally, I do have to be careful not to use too much of it. If I use too much, I do notice that peachy tint on my skin. The Eclat Dew, I don't have that issue with, and it is a creamier formula. Again, it's that hybrid formula, and it feels so nice on the skin. Personally, for me, I prefer the Eclat Dew, but during the summer, I reach a lot for the Perfect Blur, and I really like using this as setting or as finishing powder, and this one works really well under my eyes as well, and it gives a little bit of a brightening look under the eyes because of that peachy tint. So I like to have both, but if you're trying to pick one, my personal favorite is the Eclat Dew. Moving on to highlights, I have this one here from the Holiday Collection. This came out with the Eclat Dew powder. This is the Eclat Brillant, and this has a really beautiful, beautiful sheen to it. You really only need a touch of this, but it is a really nice sparkling gold I have this on my face today and I used a really light hand on this to keep it subtle, but you can obviously make this very blingy. Uh -huh. The other highlighters I have from Chantecaille are part of these duos. These are the new Radiance Chic, Chic and Highlighting Duos. And this is the one I have on my face right now. This is Coral. So I'm using the blush today, but let's start with the highlights. This is the highlight from the coral palette and you can see that it's going to have a little bit of a peachy coral tint to it. It's much deeper. The highlight for me is a little deep. However, I like to use it on my eyes or with a really light touch with a fan brush. The duo with the whale shark has the rose blush and this highlight works better for me on my skin tone. It is going to be a lighter pale gold. It is lighter and more champagne in tone than the A Club Beyond. These formulas are more of a baked formula as well. They're firmer in the pan. You are able to get the product up very easily, but the good thing about that is you're not picking up too much at one time. So it you are able to be cautious with it. Formula wise, they are pretty similar to the A Club Beyond in formula. However, I feel like this one is just slightly creamier and I think I personally just, this is my favorite highlight from these. However, these are in the duos and I don't think it's necessary to have all of these. So here, can you see the sheen to those? Here are the bronzers. This is the Real Bronze in Goa and yesterday's video featured this bronzer. I have this on today and you can see that even on my skin, you can get a really nice natural look and it has you know, this is definitely going to be more of a cocoa bronze kind of shade. I really like this shade. I have a sample of the Radiance Gel Bronzer. And this is, it's a favorite product for many people. People love this bronzer. It doesn't really work for me. I don't really like this reddish undertone. Not that I don't like a reddish undertone in a bronzer, but this one is just a little bit too, like, burnt red orange brown for me. It looks really pretty on people with a little bit deeper skin tone than myself. And actually Angela, Angela Van Rose, 
she did a video using this and she looked amazing with it and she has super fair skin, but for some reason on me, it just does not look great. Moving on to blush, going back to the Radiant Chic Cheek and Highlight Duo, this is the Coral shade and I love this blush. It's super creamy, the formula is amazing, and this color I feel like is really unique. It is a true coral shade. This is the rose shade and I also really like this shade. I wear it quite frequently. I just think it's not as unique as the coral so if you were to pick one I would pick the coral but I really like both of them. Again the formula is fantastic and you can build these up. You know it comes up fairly easily on the brush but you're still not getting like tons of pigment so it's not overwhelming. So you can layer this, build this up, get these really deep colors, or you can get a subtle look very easily with this formula. Chantecaille Cheek Shades. There are six of these in the collection. This first one here is Bliss. Sorry, it's my middle finger. And this is the one with the butterfly. My butterfly has kind of worn off, but you can see it's gonna be a really soft petal pink with a little bit of a nude undertone to it. So it's not like a rosy pink. It's more natural looking, a little dustier. This one here is Emotion and this one has a B on it. And you can see this one is going to be more of a peachy shade. This is Grace, the Sea Turtle. And there you go. You can see that it's gonna be a little bit more nude than the Emotion, but it's still kind of that peachy pink shade. Laughter is a coral shade. And this one is going to be a bit more pink. Then we have Smitten, which is the elephant shade. And I love elephants. They are my favorite animal. And this is going to be more of a true peach. Last up, we have Joy. This is a wild horse. And this is going to be a nice pop of pink. I personally love all of these cheek shades. These are a powder formula and you can get a really light layer, you can build them up. It's just, it's a really easy to work with formula and all of the shades are really soft and a little bit more muted. You can build them up, but for the most part, they are soft colors. And these are part of the philanthropy, well, they are the philanthropy cheek shades. And what that means is that when you purchase these, there is a donation that the Chantecaille family makes to a specific foundation or trust in support of the organism that is featured on there. So for example, the coral blush, when you purchase that, there is a donation made in order to help preserve coral and coral reefs. I have two of the three cream blushes. I have Happy here, which is a light pink shade. This is more of a light petal pink. And I really love their gel formula for these. This goes on super naturally. Sometimes I'll tap this on with my finger. Other times I'll just make like a pool on my hand and dip a brush into it, kind of swirl that in and get a really natural flush. I also have the Cheek Chalet in Vibrant and it can look a little scary at first, but this actually blends out to be a super wearable shade. And actually between the two, Vibrant is my favorite and I use it more frequently. It's, it's gorgeous. Moving on to eye products, let's start off with the Mermaid eyeshadows. And I wanna show you what I have on my lids right now. The majority of this lid shade is Hematite. And as I mentioned in my Get Ready With Me video, I was having some issues with hematite being a little bit more crumbly using it as a liner. And I just wanted to show you how smoothly and nice it looks on the skin when you are not using it as a liner. I don't really have any issues with crumbling with a flat shader brush. The Mermaid eyeshadows come in two formulas. There are the Mermaid Eye Mattes, and there are, I believe, three shades in that. And the one I have is what they call gray. This is Olivia, and I love this shade. It is a gray with 
some brown to it. So you can see as I spread that out, you can see some of that brown. And it's not quite a taupe, but it's almost there. I have three of the shimmers, which are the mermaid eye colors. And my favorite one is Triton, which is also described as a, a gray. It's basically the shimmer version of Olivia, but you can see that there is slightly more brown to it. It's just kind of like mixed in when you hold it close. And can you see that like kind of gold shift that you get a little bit? So this is more of a true taupe to me seashell and this is going to be more of a champagne gold Let's see it's gonna be a pale gold it's a beautiful shade i like using this on the brow and the inner corner i like to line my lower lash line with it, it gives a really nice brightening effect and then we have hematite and again this is what i have on my lids right now it's a little bit drier than the other ones so I did have issues with a little crumbling with the liner brush with this one yesterday and a little fallout. The fallout brushes off without any smearing or anything. It's super easy. You could even just take your finger and flick it, no problem. But when you use it with a flat shader brush, you don't really have any issues with any crumbling. However, it does still seem to have a slightly drier texture to me. And I think that's because of the pigments. This is a brown shade with purple in it. So the brown is warm, the purple is cool, and overall it's pretty neutral. The formula for the mermaid eye colors, it is a, technically a cream shadow, but it really feels more like a super finely milled powder, almost cream. It's a little bit drier than what you would think of as a traditional cream shadow. It's more of that hybrid type formula. I personally love it and wear time on me for those without creasing or without a primer is probably around six hours or so. Depending on what I'm doing, I can get longer, but you know, if I'm outside in the heat and so forth, it's obviously going to be fewer hours before I start noticing a little creasing, but these have never become a creasy mess on me like some other cream shadows have. So I think this more like cream powder hybrid helps with longevity of the shadows. They are a beautiful formula, beautiful colors. I'm actually still kind of, still sad that I missed out on Lagoon, which was this beautiful blue shade that came out a few years ago and I just, I never got it. Some of my favorite shadows from Shantakai are the luminescent eye shades. And there are six of these. I have all six of these. They all have a different animal on the cover. And again, these are going to donate money towards a foundation or trust in support of that animal. My favorite of these is the shade Elephant. And it's not just because the elephant is on there, but look at this color. This is gorgeous. So it is a shimmery taupe. If you put this on with a light layer, you're getting this gorgeous light dusting with a little sparkle, but you can definitely make it much more sparkly. If you take a look at my profile picture on YouTube and Instagram, that's actually me that when I first bought this, this was before I even had a YouTube channel. When I first bought this, I was taking a picture of it to show my mom what the color looked like. And that, that was a picture I ended up using for my profile, but I just, I love it. Cheetah is probably my second favorite out of all of these luminescent eye shades. And this is the champagne shade. I just think it's gorgeous. And I wear these two together quite frequently. Giraffe is a burnished brown. That's what it's described as. And it is a beautiful color. You can see that it's a warm brown. It's got a little bit of that reddish undertone, like a real giraffe. It, pangolin this was one i was so eager to get this is going to be more of a purpley pink shade look at that it's really pretty lion is a golden copper shade and at first i held off on this one because i thought it'd be too warm for me but it's actually it's really pretty and another favorite of mine is rhino and this is a they call it a sophisticated olive, but 
I actually, you know, it, it really seems like there's a lot more gray in it than green. You still see some of that olive green, but it's just gorgeous. And there's kind of like a, the shimmer in here is more like multicolored. I love all of these. And the thing I, I really like, these the formula on these is incredible. I love the amount of shine and sparkle. I love shimmer shadows. All of these look beautiful as one and done shades, but they also pair very nicely with each other or with other shadows. Moving on, we have the Hummingbird Quads. I have both of them. This is warm and I really, really like this quad. My favorite shade in here is this slate shade. And I actually have the slate on my outer corner right now over the hematite. And it's just, they're gorgeous. Let me make this one a little bit deeper. So here we have more of this shimmery, bright peachy copper shade. This is a more of a beige tan, but it's got a, like a, a little bit of a peachy undertone to it. This one is a matte shade. The slate is a gray with a blue undertone and lots of sparkle. It is gorgeous. One of my favorite shades from Chantecaille of all time. I wish they would sell it separately. And then this bottom one here is actually a duochrome. I'm moving so you can kind of see the shift. I don't think it's coming up as clearly on camera as it is in person, but it's gold and pink and it's gorgeous. These bottom two are the ones that I use the most. I honestly don't really use these two very much, but the quad itself is worth it to me for this slate shade. The cool quad has these shades here. And again, I love all four of these shades. My most used are probably this light pink and this taupe. This taupe is another favorite of all time shades for me. And then I really like this duochrome. I thought I'd really like this plum and I like it, but it's honestly not one I reach for as much as the others. Quite frequently with these quads, I like to mix and match and I'll use the taupe, the pink and the slate and make an eye with those. And this duochrome, I think you can see that one a little bit better, but there's more of a purple and brown. Uh, it's like a golden brown, but more purple and brown mixed in there versus the pink and gold. And then I also have some Chantecaille eye shades, and these are the refillable ones that you can either buy a palette. They have a palette, it's called the Ma Palette, and you can buy these. I have mostly the iridescent and I think the they satin or shimmer, whatever they're called, they're lasting. But these are magnetic. This is an Adept palette that I have. And with this particular palette, you know, it's magnetic here. And this folds out so you can actually fold this into like a stand. And it does have the mirror on one side. So I think this one is really nice for like travel and so forth. But let's go ahead and swatch these. Cell. Coriander. Quartz, Lilac Rose, Almond. All of these refill shades are gorgeous. They give you a really soft, subtle, sophisticated look, and they do go on very more on the lighter side on your lid and they blend together beautifully. I really like the formula of them. I really like the colors that I have. However, I do prefer the other Chantecaille shadows to these. All right, moving on to eyeliners. I have one of the Chantecaille liquid eyeliners. This is the Le Pearl line and this color is Vert. And this is a green. You see that sparkle? I love the sparkle. You can see there is a black base on here. So if you kind of smudge it out, you're seeing more of the black, but if you leave it and just let it dry like that, it is gorgeous. I really love this. 
eye my favorite eyeliners though are the Lester Glide Silk Infused Eyeliners and I do have all of the colors. My top two favorites are Violet Damask, which is what I have on today. And you can see it's gonna be a really deep purple, but it's one of those more purpley blue shades versus the purpley pink, which for me works really well. My all-time favorite eyeliner from any brand is actually this one from Chantecaille. This is Olive Brocade and it's an olive green. You see some gold shimmer in there and I just, I love this shade. So these are my top two from Chantecaille. And again, Olive Brocade is my all-time favorite eyeliner in general. Let's just wash the rest of them for you. We have Amethyst here and this is a, another purple, but this one has more of that pink undertone to it. Black Force is a deep emerald green. Earth is going to be a medium brown. Slate is a deep charcoal gray. And then Raven is black. What I really like about these eyeliners is they are incredibly smooth and creamy feeling. You can blend them out, but I haven't had any issues with these like smudging after they set or, you know, any other like raccoon eyes or anything. You can see if you look at these shades that they are all matte shades except for Olive Brocade, which has some shimmer. Let's take a look at lips. We're going to start off. I have two of the Chantecaille lip glosses. I actually really do like this lip gloss formula. I don't know why I don't have more of these, but it's a very nice formula. This shade here is Charm and you can see that it's almost clear with a little bit of a peachy pink to it. The other one I have is Classic and this is going to be a more of a true peachy shade. There's a little bit of a rosy pink to it, but it's really more of a peach. And just one thing to note about these is they have more of that paintbrush style applicator. So it's a brush, not a doe foot. And I think the formula is really nice. I like these, they look nicely. I use Charm a lot as a topper. It just kind of gives a little bit of something other than a clear gloss, but I use it quite frequently. Let's start off with my really special Chantecaille lip sheet. And this is in the John Darian collection that they are doing right now. This is limited edition. It does cost more than the other lip products. This is in the color Rose de May, which is their signature thing. And I just think it is the perfect shade for me. It is a mid-tone pink. It's pretty neutral and I, I love it. Can't go wrong with this color. And I'm very excited that it's on sale as part of the sale. I didn't think the John Darian collection would be included, but it is, in, I mean, just take a look at this packaging. It's gorgeous. Like all of the lip veils and the newer lip cheeks, this is magnetic and it has a square package. The Hummingbird Collection released four new lip cheeks and they put them in the square packaging, whereas traditionally lip cheeks were always done in the round packaging like this. The Hummingbird ones, they're gorgeous. This shade here is Lupine, which is a soft pink. Coral Bell. And you can see Coral Bell is gonna be a brighter pink. On my lips right now, I have Honeysuckle. And this is going to be a nude shade with a touch of pink to it. And then Passion Flower, which is a red with an orange undertone to it. One thing I forgot to mention about these Hummingbird lip cheeks is that these are another item where a donation is made with purchase. And for these, they go to the Amazon conservation team to help preserve the Amazon rainforest and animals like hummingbirds that are in it. One of my favorite lip cheeks is called Amour, and this is part of the regular line. So it comes in the traditional round packaging and the round packaging is not magnetic. So it, it's a click in. And you can see that this is going to be a medium rose. Another one that I like a lot is Sari Rose. And this is more of a brown shade. And Bourbon Rose. This 
this is a really pretty shade and you can see that this is going to be lighter i wear this one quite often it's one of those shades you can just kind of keep in your purse and when you don't know what to put on just add this but look how dark it looks here versus in the swatch so this one's really sheer and it's pink with a touch of lavender to it not too much but just a little bit you can see there's a little bit more of that mauve type of tone to it traditionally the rectangular or square packaging was for the lip veils and the lip veils are a slightly lighter formula than the lip chics both of them both have a very nice balmy kind of texture they feel more like a lipstick hybrid than like a thicker cream but the lip veil is even thinner feeling than the lip chic just by a smidge and there are three limited edition lip veils in the red and pink package here these three uh, portion of proceeds goes to support elephant family and then the traditional ones that come in the navy blue package with the elephant on them they support space for giants this one here is franchi pain i'm not really sure if i said that correctly and you can see that this is going to be a sheer red shade it's a warmer red but you can even see where it comes out here that it is a little bit more of a sheer formula than the lip shakes. Next up, we have Mandavia. And this is going to be a bright pink with a touch of red to it, but it's more of a bright fuchsia pink. And Pink Lotus, this is another one I wear a lot. This is going to be a soft pink shade. Tambodi is more of a brown shade again i like this one a lot as well moabi is another pink you can see that moabi is going to be a little bit more rosy tone than these others and it has a little more depth to it this is probably the most popular lip veil this is called honey pot it's actually very very similar to the honeysuckle lip chic I really like this. It's a nude brownish shade with a touch of pink. And this is my newest one. This is Baobab. And you can see that it is going to be a medium rose, but it's a warmer rose. There is a touch of brick red undertone to it. With the summer collection, Shantakai released four limited edition hydrating lip tints. And I really like these. These have a click in packaging and they all come in this beautiful blue. This first shade here is Madeira, and this is the sheer red. I'll just build it up a little bit here. And these actually look pretty pigmented on your lips. Beach Rose is a soft pink, and although it's the most ordinary, I wear this all the time. I just keep this down on my desk, and you can see that I have used a lot. This is all I have left of it. So uh, it's about halfway gone if you look down into the tube. So I definitely use this one a ton. Calendula is the orange. It's a sheer orange. But it's got a little bit more pink in it than a true orange. And my favorite is Verbena, which is more of a berry plum shade. I love this one. The formula for the hydrating lip tints is even lighter than the lip veils. So in order, we have the lip tint, then the lip veil, and then the lip chic. They all have a similar feeling or texture to the lips. They still have that nice, balmy, comfortable feel to them. And it's just really like levels of thickness. I love all of the lip products. Shantake lip products are some of my favorite across the board. And uh, you know, I just, I don't think you can go wrong with one of their lip products. The last item I have from Shantakai is the Buff and Blur brush. And this is a synthetic bristled brush. And I really, really like this. I actually compared it to the Westman Atelier blender brush. And I think it is pretty equivalent to that. The bristles are slightly shorter, just very, very slightly but i think performance wise i would pick this over the westman atelier blender brush because i mean you can look the heads are basically the same diameter the density feels pretty much the same this is a 
more inexpensive brush than the blender brush and I've used this for cream products like foundation sometimes but I also use it for its intended purpose which is to buff in powders and I believe this one was released with the perfect blur powder I'm not positive that it didn't come out before that but I know that's when I purchased it and buffing that in you really get this gorgeous finish and more of that pronounced blurring effect. So I do really like this brush. I do not have any other Chantecaille brushes though. I would recommend this one though. Let's go over some of my favorites. It's really hard for me to do this. I was trying to do like a top 10 or something, but I don't think I can do that. So we're just going to go over. If I had to pick what would I pick? And if I had to pick a base product, it would be the Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer over the Future Skin. I just, I really love this one. And, you know, I think for summertime, it is absolutely perfect. Powders, if I had to pick one, it would be the A Claude Dew. For me personally, I just love that creamy texture. It's very luxurious feeling on the skin. It's smooth. It really helps if I've gone overboard with a color, you know, kind of blending that in. And I think the finish on this is just, it's beautiful. Bronzers, again, I really only have the Goa that I purchased, but between this and the Radiance Bronze Sample, I would definitely pick the Goa. This formula is so smooth and creamy, kind of like the A Claude Dew in a way. Um, you know, just the texture is so finely milled, it actually feels more, oh, I think maybe this one was the gel powder hybrid, but it definitely feels like that. And I love how you can put this on very lightly or build this up. I think it's a great bronzer. Between the two cream blushes that I have, I would go with Vibrant. I used this one a lot. Actually, last summer, you can barely even tell you use such a tiny amount, but last summer I wore this for, I think it was released maybe last August, and I wore this basically August through October, like every day. And I just think it's a beautiful color. You can put it on very lightly or you can amp it up. So I think this one is gonna be more versatile for more people. With the Radiance Cheek Duos, I would go with the Coral. I think it's more unique than the Rose, although I like both of them. This Coral is, is just such a unique shade. It's more of a true coral than other companies have released. It's not too pink, it's not too orange. It's just perfect. And I really love it. The highlighters in here I think are okay and I like them. Again, the highlight and the coral one really doesn't work super great for me. It's a little bit deep, but I love the blush so much that I would go with it anyway. If I were to pick a highlight, it would be the A Claw Briant from the holiday collection though. With the cheek shades, I love all of them and I honestly use all six of the colors. I had actually had you know, some of them before and I put up a, a video when I rebought all of these, but I had lost my previous collection in a move and then I just repurchased all six of these again recently and you can see that I've definitely been using them because the, the foiling, um, overspray has come off of the majority of these blushes. My most used is Emotion, the B, but honestly, I use all six of them and the colors are different enough that I like having all of them. One thing that the Chantecaille website does offer on some of these is they have some of these just in the refill pan that you can buy separately and put in a separate palette. And I believe those are $30. I think they might be phasing those out though because some of the shades are out of stock and I'm not sure if they're coming back. With the luminescent eye shades, my number one favorite is the Elephant. I just think it is the perfect color. I wear this quite often, just all on its own as a one and done. Second up is Sha uh, the Cheetah because it just is so usable with pretty much everything. It's just a really great shade. I like the undertone to this one and it's just one that I use a lot. And then next up is going to be Rhino. So those are my top three. I love all six of them though. I'm very happy I have all of them. The formula on these is probably my favorite out of all of the Chantecaille shadows. And I just, I think they're to die for. Not literally. Between these two palettes, I really like both of them. The Slate 
color in the warm palette is my favorite out of all of the eight shades here however i use the cool quad more frequently than i do the warm quad most of the time though i like to mix these and wear both of them together so it's kind of hard to choose so that's all i'll say <laughs> With the mermaid eye colors, I don't think you can go wrong with any of them. My all-time favorite shade from there is Triton, and I really like the Olivia Matte shade. I think next favorite for the shimmers is Hematite, uh, and then I have the seashell too. I love all four of the ones that I have, and I just, I don't think you can go wrong. The formula is great. I like how, even though it's a cream product technically, it's not super creamy, so I feel like it's a little bit easier to keep it sanitary and it should hopefully last a bit longer. I also think with the Mermaid Eye Shades, the formula of these not being, you know, super creamy or moist means that they last a little bit longer on my eyes than other cream shadows do in my experience. And I love them. I love the colors. I love the texture. I just think they are fabulous. The eyeliners I covered, if you are interested in Chantecaille's eyeliners, I would definitely recommend Olive Brocade or Violet Damask. Those are my two favorite. They're the Luster Glide ones. I really like the Le Pearl one that I have in Vert, but I just don't wear liquid eyeliners as much. So if I had to pick, I would definitely go with Olive Brocade or Violet Damask. And then lip products. <laughs> I mean, those of you who watch my channel, you know that lip products are my favorite thing. It is so hard for me to pick a favorite. I would definitely recommend getting this limited edition lip chic if you are able to, because this one retails for $55. It is limited edition. I think the color is perfect and you know, it's not gonna be around for long. So I would definitely pick this up if you are able to. From the Hummingbird collection, the two I reach for the most are Lupine, which is the soft pink and the Honeysuckle. I really like these. I also use Pink Lotus quite frequently. And of course the Honey Pot, which I think is probably the best seller. Lip Sheiks, the Bourbon Rose is one that I use quite a bit. And I also really love Amour, but I think I wear Bourbon Rose probably more than any of my other ones. And then the lip tints. Honestly, I love all of them. Calendula is my least favorite. I don't think that one looks quite as good on me as the other three shades do. But if I were to repurchase, Verbena would be my top choice because it's absolutely gorgeous. But I wear Beach Rose constantly, so it would have to be those two. And then for lip glosses, I can't really suggest the color because I only have these two. But I have to say that I use Charm quite a bit. You can actually see you know, how, how much I've used in here. The tube is probably about half full still, maybe. <laughs> that sums up everything I have from Shantakai and what my top picks would be. Again, I don't really have any experience with their skincare products at this time. I tried, I'm trying some samples right now, but the things I've tested so far, they seem really nice. It's just I haven't, it's only been a few days, so I wouldn't want to recommend something that I haven't tested for a longer time. Now, unfortunately, I think this sales only for US customers, but hopefully this video was helpful for everyone. If you are interested in any Shantakai products, I hope the swatches were helpful to determining what you might be interested in. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment down below or DM me on Instagram. I'd be happy to help or if there are anything you need swatches again. And that's it. I hope everybody is very excited about this sale like I am. And one of the things that I ordered that I don't have yet are the Lux Chrome Duo eyeshadows. I've been dying to get those for years and I've tried them on a few times. The formula seems amazing. I really liked them. So now I, I just ordered three of them. So I'm very excited to try those and I hope you guys have fun shopping. So thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day, stay safe and healthy. And if you like the video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you soon and have a great weekend.